back stringers and low end lovers. So today we're gonna to be doing For Whom the Bell Tolls by Metallica. Right, okay then, so, right, if you do like Metallica and you are into Cliff Burton, like myself, then check out my little kind of like tribute song to him there. There's a lesson to Orion over there as well, the middle part, um, because as many of you know that I do love Cliff Burton because he was the person that kind of introduced me to bass chords and making all this lovely sounding things and things like that. So thank you again, Cliff. So today we're doing For Whom the Bell Tolls. Now, my God, there's so many arguments about like Metallica bass lines in this one on the internet. And I'm not entirely sure that Cliff Burton would have appreciated that. Everybody at war about his bass lines. Um, I'm, I don't think he was that type of guy. I think that healthy discussion is good, but some of the arguments, man, it's just there's no need for it. So today I'm going to do my version, or uh, hopefully it's the version which is closest to um, Cliff's studio version, not his live version, his studio version. Okay, so the first thing, obviously he's playing through distortion, um, so he's getting that growly effect, or overdrive, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, yes, that's what he's using, so you're going to need yourself uh, effects or a pedal of some sort to get that effect. Oh, the sun! It's Cliff! He's come down to show his approval for my bass lesson. Oh, amazing, man. That's a rainbow too. Double rainbow. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, for the first one, we're gonna let this open E ring out like that. We come to the 19th fret on the G string, this little fella here, yeah? Okay, and we're gonna hit that on the 19th fret. Right, okay, so some of you guys might have uh, 19th frets like myself. I mean, lots of frets after 19 like myself, but some of you might have one or two, it doesn't matter. Find 19th there, okay, um, with your ring finger, okay, this one right here. Play that on the 19th, okay? Then come down to the 18th fret on the G string, with your middle finger right there, okay? And then come down to the 17th fret on the G string with your index finger. Okay, and then slide that index finger down one more time to the 16th fret right there. So we have, so we're gonna, oh, our open E. I like to let the E ring out as much as you can, so it's just constantly going like that, okay? Yeah, does that make sense? Okay, and here's um, the bone of contention part with a lot of people. So we come down here, Okay, so we're at the 16th fret, and then we're going to do like a pull off. So we're going to hit the 19th with our ring finger and pull off. So we're going to keep our finger on the 16th fret right there, and 19 with our ring finger. And it's going to pull off. I'm pretty sure that's right. So quick in the recording, the studio version we have. Okay, so as quick as you can. Yeah, as quick as you can. So one more time. Yeah, just bam, tap it on there. It's enough to get the effect that we want here. Okay, and then we're gonna to come to the 17th fret on the D string, this guy right here. So, oh. With our middle finger right there, okay. Then we're gonna go down to the 16th fret on the D string with our index finger right there. So we have, slowly. Great, excellent, I hope you're with me. Okay, notice that E is just constantly ringing out throughout this whole thing. Okay, once we hit there, okay, so that was our last note, wasn't it? I want you to, with your ring finger, come to the 19th fret on the G string. Again, so we have. Right there, yeah? So, boom, boom, boom. Okay, and then what I need you to do is go to the uh, 17th fret on the a string, this one here, okay, with your middle finger, so we have. Okay, and lastly, I want you to come to the 16th fret on that A string with your index finger. So just to there, to there. All right, so again, lastly. Okay, so he does little, some little things in there he does for effect, all right? So, I mean, we have this, this little teeny little thing here. I mean, I think in the live version, he hangs on that with distortion. One second. Okay, so when you get here, give it a bit of vibrato, shake the string, yeah, like that, just give it. He, Cliff did that a lot. Okay, and also vibrate and then slide it down, okay? Um, slide it down nice and quickly. I'm not sure he does it in the studio version. I think he does, but it gives it more of an effect when you're playing through distortion. So, one last time. We're playing it slow. Mm. 
Mm. Okay, right, and that's it. That's it. Oh, should I show you the first part of the verse? I might as well. And all, all the first part of the verse is is open E, uh, and then with your ring finger to the third fret on the E string. Okay, and then with your middle finger, uh, second fret on the uh, E string. Okay, and then lastly coming down to that F note, first fret on the E string with your uh, index finger, and we go. I believe. I think that's it anyway. Yeah. Okay then, so, yes, um, I hope you enjoyed the lesson guys, I am here, uh, thank you for providing light and sun, Cliff, um, uh, I shall see you in the next video.